Hi again, we finally got to this energy simulation practical example. This is a real world project that we've done for an architectural firm in Jakarta in Indonesia. So they provided us with a very basic design for their building and we've done the energy analysis, the optimization of the whole building until we uh, achieved like an A rated building according to the EPC uh, system. In this section, I will show you the whole process of this work since we got the brief from the client and what were their requirements and how we did that, how we did the energy simulation using uh, Rhino Grasshopper and Ladybug. And uh, I will show you like step by step how we created the energy model, how did we create the analysis and all of these kind of uh, simulations that you can see until we achieved this result. You can check our energy analysis portfolio in our website architecturemass.com and see some of the projects that we did for architectural companies uh, all around the world like here this project in Singapore this is like a really big project included a very interesting kind of uh, optimization and this project we did for a client in Germany and uh, this project done in Turkey in UK and in China and so and back to this project in Jakarta. So what we got from this client was uh, this model. So it included like, very basic plans of, uh, so you got the entrance here, you have the salon and dining room, you have one bedroom downstairs, and it includes one floor uh, upstairs that includes two bedrooms with their uh, bathrooms. Usually in that area, the kitchen is uh, built outside of the house. And, uh, and along with this project, we got uh, this brief that explains a bit about the, the area and the building itself and what is uh, needed or required uh, from our side. So it included basically some like analysis to be done, which is like thermal analysis, flow analysis, airflow, which we uh, did radiance analysis in the house how much like the sun affects the house also we did that different analysis of climate simulations and most importantly energy simulation to get an idea about how much this building is spend of electricity and gas and other energy during its life so the architectural factors that needed to be optimized were uh, basically like the structure the material the what kind of material or isolation that were, were uh, needed in this building in these like in these uh, walls in these uh, like windows and other than that there was like the roof optimization so if we take a section of the building uh, there was no ceiling proposed by the uh, architect on, on top of like this area here uh, the only ceiling proposed were on top of the bedrooms and the bathrooms uh, but after the analysis like it turned out that it has to be like a full ceiling on top of the whole area the isolated ceiling that need to be uh, installed and like other points that needed to be optimized like uh, HVAC uh, system and uh, should we use renewable energy uh, or like integrate that in, in our design uh, and so and of course the brief also contained the information about the location which is like very important so we get the correct EPW data file and use it uh, to get the correct kind of like analysis results. So this was the brief what we got from the client and uh, the deliverables or what we did or the report that we uh, provided after we did this building performance analysis. So it included some uh, basic weather analysis, some information about the, uh, the heat in that area. Then after that, the building form, uh, we explained how the roof and the ceiling should uh, take place. We proposed some like systems for the ceiling, systems for the ventilation. And of course, since we have the energy model, so we tested or like uh, checked the simulation of two situations, one without a ceiling, and one with ceiling and it turned out like the difference is really huge in terms of like energy performance of the building so we gave the uh, correct uh, answer for that and after that we checked like different building materials again with different uh, situations and how 
each situation would affect uh, the performance of the, this building. And again, in a related topic, the glass and the window materials for all of the building. So we proposed the uh, correct or like the most optimum uh, material for uh, this building. Then after that, we did an airflow simulation. So we uh, check how would the building perform when there is no uh, HVAC system active. So if the air conditioning is uh, off, how would be the natural uh, ventilation? How would it behave? So we will see in details how to do that in the next sessions. And like we proposed the best kind of uh, ventilation system with proposal for the uh, window locations and after that rain catchment system uh, lighting system after we did this radiance uh, analysis how much natural light the building gets and which are the areas that are like dimmed not very well lighted uh, naturally so uh, we did that too and after that from the radiation analysis we proposed a solar panel system so we calculated the solar panel calculations uh, for each side of the uh, this roof and like each one how much does it uh, take back or how much does it uh, contribute to the uh, building energy or the electricity of the building and that's how we got to uh, this result which is like an a class rated building according to the uh, epc certificate uh, system so if you're interested in seeing each step of this process how did we build the uh, energy model how did we do the different uh, analysis on this model and what are like the different results that uh, helped us and how did we get the correct proposal according to this analysis so uh, you can stay with us in the next uh, videos and check how this all worked